Okay, so I wanna use this opportunity of still having a uh, the European jerseys up there to show you another one of my national team jerseys before we go fully into club mode again where uh, tons of games are coming and yeah we'll see how I will cover and um, since the jersey I will be showing you is blue I decided yeah let's put on Portugal since Cristiano yesterday made his 100th goal so I want to honor him a little bit that way I'm gonna show you another jersey that is actually not that exciting but it's exciting for the nation that this is Finland 2012-2013 let's go it the other way um, I got this at the beginning of the year you know I was really wanting to gear up for Euro uh, 2020 and then you know the whole Covid thing happened everyone knows and so yeah um, I needed to get a Finland jersey actually I wanted to get a Denmark jersey because that's the I think of the nations that I have then Den Denmark is this one glaring omission so far and it's mostly down to that I I'm really picky with my Denmark shirt. I want to get the 2017 home jersey with the big Viking on there. There are, of course, the Euro 92 winning one would, would be great. And there are other great ones from the 90s, but I have not found them anywhere cheap. I do not necessarily like the Adidas ones, although there are a few there. So I had this Viking jersey, XXL, and I wanted to put it in the cart. It was there in the evening. I kind of have just about convinced my wife and then something didn't quite work with anything. I said, I'll do it in the morning. And the morning it was gone. So then I looked around and it became, I think I, I remember I got the Leicester jersey, also the third jersey. I remember I was in the office and I asked my office mates, guys, I'm getting Leicester and I want to get another one. Should I get Finland or should I get Aston Villa? Uh, despite them all being very Premier League friendly, everyone said, you gotta get Finland. Finland it is. It's a nice blue jersey, which I really like a lot. I have to say, this is a really beautiful tone. It's not very exciting. I mean, if you look at it from, from a distance, it is blue. It has the nice Finland crest. And note that it's actually not quite symmetric. Well, maybe it is. Uh, I never can really decide but the golden outline out there, but I think this, this actually looks quite nice. Um, and then you have the white form straps, which of course here are broken up to account for logos and I got it in a long sleeve. And I have to say I have long sleeve, I have many long sleeve Adidas ones and I have only one Puma. I have to say I prefer the Adidas, mainly because of the cuffs. I really like these cuffs a lot, uh, fit very snugly. Of course, they could have done many, many crazy things there. Just look at the cut here. There's a ventilation hole here. Then there is this sliver that we have on the Spain jersey that's differently colored, which they also put in blue. Then you have this. Then you have the whole band where the regular jersey would end right here. And then it's the long sleeve on. So, I mean, there are many ways that you could have put different colors. I give them lots of credit for not doing that. Also the color, they refrain from anything. Because if you look this 2012 color, I think Milan had that. They have this weird thing and it goes all the way around the neck too. That, you know, it doesn't really serve any purpose. I mean, if they wanted to splash on color, they could have made it white, but this would have looked weird. I really like that they made this all blue and it's very simple looking. Uh, I think the only other thing is that it says Suomi on the back. So yeah, I uh, got it plain. It's a, it wears really well. It's a nice material. It is climber cool, of course. So it's, uh, you know, the replica version. I mean, it's still a soccer jersey, but it's not the um, uh, top, top, top of the line that uh, others gives its athletes. But yeah, the other thing I want to tell you is you see here the tag is a little bit off center and then very important you always go on the left shoulder and on the inside there's this little tag where there is a little number uh, let's see it here and if you get this little number on there and type in Adidas and the number in Google images this jersey should be popping up or whatever jersey you hold in hand otherwise it's a fake so Good thing to know. To be honest, I always want to have Finland because you know uh, one of my. Uh, this is now. I always liked Finland. Um, 
unless in nine in, in nine two when they beat us in ski jumping when the Austrian team was way better. But that's a different story. I always liked Finland and Finnish athletes. I liked them in ice hockey. Um, I always found it sorry that they are not much better in soccer. Now they are, so I'm very happy about that. And yeah, it doesn't doesn't hurt that one of my favorite bands, uh, one that I'm currently li li listening a lot to, Nightwish is also from Finland, so I have this connection too. So yeah, Apocalyptic is also from is also a band that I like a lot. So yeah, that in addition. So yeah, plain jersey, but as I said, I love it, and um, I'm very happy to have it. Now I need to get, this was the last uh, the Adidas version, now I need to get the current Nike home jersey with the cross, that is awesome, absolutely awesome. But for a blue jersey, it doesn't get better like that, and my, my wife also likes it, so always a plus. Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey, what do you think about Finland in soccer, and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, videos like these, and I will talk to you soon, bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!